Hey everyone, this is Jamie. Yeah. Um, I've kind of had a rough week, and uh, I know I've touched the subject a lot before, but kind of with everything going around and in general, I've been stressed. Everyone's been stressed, and uh, we need to talk about privilege. Alright, so. I've kind of been going off on people, on Reddit, in life, and in general, and uh, sometimes, like, it always happens that uh, you get into an argument with someone, I'm sorry, specifically Americans, uh, where you say, well, you know, um, I comment something, or I see a post, and then I see a wave of like vomiting emojis regarding LGBT people, right? Right. And they're like, well, but someone didn't post a black, uh, I don't know, the, the black square for blackout. Uh, I think it was a Tuesday, Blackout Tuesday back when I was trending. Uh, yeah, and I was like, well, okay. And then they went to the runs that they felt like the brands didn't do enough. And I was like, well, fair enough, but you you didn't reply to my LGBT thing, which was what I addressed. So I ended up talking about LGBT, and they were talking about black rights. So yeah. So, and then I started kind of thinking f further, and in general the day went, and um... I've had a very hectic week, and um, I've been venting all over social media, I've been just exhausted, and uh, like I kind of reached that state where I really don't understand some people's problems, like, like, even my own <laughs> complaints when I go, like, why is this company supporting LGBT people? And I literally catch myself saying, like, why am I even complaining about that? <clears throat> like, when... Like, I was even talking to a friend of mine, and uh, we're both in similar situations, where... We were talking that life doesn't prepare you for the fact that once you're out as trans, you're on your own. And that really... Is something that you have to learn and in general um, I really look around my generation and uh, I don't keep up I, I kind of went around many schools and I don't keep even in contact with many people um, who I've encountered in life but even of those who I do, um, I don't know anyone who's actually very well off. 
no matter what their background is. No matter of their sexuality, identity, and everyone kind of has a sort of like hatred within them, and we are indeed a generation filled with hate, and it's not just a local thing and i'm not saying that it's an unjust hate um and this is where it gets tricky right and this is where i kind of want to point out a few things so there are certain things Where it gets tricky is that our hatred is politicized. Depending on where you are, like in the US, right? Can you hate, also depending on their state, on your family, your income, and etc. You can choose who you decide to hate this entity. If you're black, you can hate the white man, you can hate a Republican, um, you can hate inequality, you can hate uh, Christopher Columbus, you can hate colonization, you can try to find your ancestors, where your ancestors came from, etc. Uh, and nothing bad about that, seriously. I'm just like narrowing it down to my extent, please. Uh, also, please know that I am not American and I'm not claiming to know everything. Uh, Eastern European. In my case, this is where identity becomes a bit complex. Because again, I know a bit more about Eastern European identity and post-Soviet identity, obviously, more than um, an African-American identity. So you have uh, a lot of people who divide themselves from nostalgic for the USSR, nostalgic to the Russian language, nostalgic to Russian tradition, etc, etc, etc. And even within that, like if you look at Baltic communities, there's a lot of people who are lost a lot who do not agree with the current Russian government, yet they are not accepted by um, local governments. Because, um, like, I remember back when I was, before I was a teenager, before when I tried to fit in and stuff, right? before I moved out, whatever. Like, I would remember when uh, on national holidays, there would be uh, marches which would end up with, they would actually find a Russian, Russian speaker. I can't remember if Poles would also do work for that, but usually it was a Russian speaker and they would beat them up. And even up to this day, you can't actually go on the streets in those days because people are so traumatized. And I did get taken off the bus once for speaking Russian to my brother. So, yeah, I... I... Or uh, the second to last time when I was flying in the airport, I make a point of not speaking in Russian or in the local language. I speak in English. So I was flying from the airport and it was like 5 a.m. and I get my passport which is of that of the country I was born in you know and he's like why aren't you speaking the local language and I'm like it's 5 a.m. dude I'm tired and uh, yeah he kind of read me to filth and I was just like it's 5 a.m. and I wasn't budging so
It's kind of like these minor aggressions. And I do understand that I live abroad. I do not encounter this. And the people who still live there kind of are kind of like, well, you know, you're being too picky, whatever. And I'm like, police, fines, people beating up people. And, uh, like, I can get beaten up for being gay, for speaking Russian, for looking weird. Identity, everything, you know? So it's like, me liking it? Uh-uh. And uh, specifically the fact that um, my views are a bit too left for them, so. So... <clears throat> Regardless of my political views, there's obviously people who, who are less left than I am. And um, they are still in the bubble that they are not of the local population. So they're a minority of a minority in views. And that's an even more minority of a minority. And it's like, who speaks for them? So whenever I see stuff like people getting cancelled for like a tweet, which they posted, I don't know, man, 12 years ago for something. Dude, I don't even know at this point. Like, I don't even know what Shane Dawson was cancelled for at this point. <laughs> I'm just like... I don't even know. Like... Sometimes I look, like, people are getting cancelled for things like... 12 years ago? Like, I understand, like, even if we take Shane Dawson, like, for the fact that he chose... Jeffrey over Trisha, I'm like, yes, yeah, yeah, that's fucked up. But everything else, like, which it did in the past, I'm just like, which was like a skit, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna go there. I, I don't get it. And then, I'm like, I'm here. So, I look at all these people, right? I'm not saying that some crimes should be, like, excused. But... I really think we should channel our hatred from... our vision of people who are somewhere there on YouTube doing something to people like who have families, beat up their kids, you know who you are, abuse their kids, you know who you are, um, deny their kids basic human rights, siblings as well, mm, you know, Stuff like that. Human interaction. So, for instance, when I... Like, this week, I had, like, a massive trip down memory lane where I had to... call my main abuser, uh, get misgendered, Tell that it's absolutely my problem that I chose to ruin her life for transitioning. Um, after she abused me for with her husband's for. I don't know how long, but the most intense abuse was from when I was 13, so about 14 years now. And it started off with the phrases, I hate teenagers. 
and the abuse varied from, let's say, no one's ever gonna love you, uh, from like, you know, opening my bag, flipping it over, and saying that I have no right to own personal stuff, stalking me, hacking into my accounts, checking my browser history, leading me to panic attacks, locking me up, screaming at me, threatening me with violence, then uh, beating up her own children. So yeah, so 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 you 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 get the idea. So then I see someone like, let's cancel this person because they, I don't know, called someone a Jew for like, a, and I'm like, is this really the problem? Is this really the problem? So like, <laughs> sometimes I'm like. Are we really, really cancelling people over a tweet? Are we really cancelling people over fuck? I don't even know. Like... Over tweets. Over weird videos. It's like, okay, fine. You want to cancel people over something, right? Even if... You think that there's nothing else over, over than America, the UK, whatever. I don't care. Cancel people for not respecting COVID at least, right? I can get behind that. But there's literal people abusing kids. There's people just making other people's lives miserable, dude. I am so tired, you don't even have any idea, like... Sometimes I just like sit down and I'm like... I don't even know... What I'm doing... <laughs> I don't know how to go on... So to me, everything feels abstract. So it's like, I wish I could just cancel someone random. I wish I had <laughs> such a carefree life. So if you have such a life, God bless you. But sometimes it's nice to... Understand that... I wouldn't be able to live with myself. And... I kind of live with that. I can't live with myself when I know that other people are suffering. I always make a point. Whenever something's okay with me, or if I have an extra euro even, I don't need it. I check to see what's needed. I don't know. I don't have it in me to get bored out of happiness or be cruel to someone for no reason. And sometimes like when I see people going crazy, and canceling someone 
are fighting in the same sandbox for no reason. I don't get it. And yeah, I can call out, call someone out, or fight someone, but it's really just because I just want everyone to calm down. I just want to breathe. I just want to make life easy. Sometimes I don't even know if it's just for me or for others. I just want to put an oxygen mask on, regardless if it's me or someone else. So yeah, start putting oxygen masks on other people as well, instead of invisible boogeyman. That's my lesson to you today. And donate to actual charities. <laughs>